Hi, in this video I'm going to go over the beginning of the year setup for elementary teachers in Schoology. So the first thing I want to go over is to set up your courses in your drop down menu. When you click on the courses option, you may see all the courses that you have for that school year and it may not be in the order that you like it to be. So as an elementary teacher, we're going to have our math course, our special services, our homeroom, language arts, and life skills and physical development. But we are only going to work off of the homeroom regular or the homeroom course. So it is um, very practical to have it over here in the beginning of our panel so we can just quickly qu click on it. So how do we arrange the courses here in this dropdown? I'm going to go ahead and click here in my courses. And from here, I'm going to find the reorder courses button in the right hand side panel. When I click on it, it's going to give me a list of my courses. And if I scroll down, it's going to show me that courses that appear below this line will not appear in the course dropdown. So if there are any there are any courses that you have in this bottom section that you like to have in the panel, all we need to do is just drag them up and make them part of our drop down. So the order here in this list is from left to right. So if I want to go ahead and have the homeroom in that very first position, I'm going to go ahead and click and drag this course up to the very top. The order of these other courses is up to you if you like to arrange them in a specific way. However, if we're going to just use this one, we can go ahead and bring over some other courses maybe that you joined because of training um, or anything else that you created to create templates in that you'd like to have handy as well. So I'm going to just close this window. And now if I go to courses, I see that my courses are in that order that I specified in that list. Okay, so now the next thing that we'd like to set up is the image for each one of my courses. So right now I'm just going to focus in the homeroom and I want to have a specific profile picture in this course so that students can identify which one they should click on whenever they need to access materials. So I'm going to click on the course and for this I'm going to create the profile picture or download the profile picture that we like to have in our Schoology course. Now in our district we have a very cool tool to design our images or presentations called Canva. So I'm going to share that tip with you uh, for you to create your course images uh, in a more personalized way and fun way for your students. So to access Canva, we go to the app portal and we're going to go ahead and search in the EdTech Tools folder for our Canva icon. Once here, we can go ahead and create our custom size design for our profile picture. So there are two sizes that I would recommend uh, entering here. So first we're going to select inches and this is a smaller type of image, this two by six inch, or if we ha want a tall type of picture and I'll show you what that looks like in a second, we can go with the 15 by eight inches. So once we type in here those um, measurements, we can go ahead and click create design. And this is like the taller size. And we can go ahead and add elements here on the left hand side. We can search for different backgrounds. We can add graphics and we can search for anything here. So if we want to search for, let's say, books to add to our image, we can go ahead and personalize that however we want. We also have here like cool fonts that you can use to put your course name. Okay, so now here I have two images that I've already worked on. So here is one with a background and the name of my class here with this banner. Or I have this other tall picture with some confetti, my bitmoji, and the name of my class. 
So whenever I'm done designing my profile picture, all I need to do is just download this in a an image format. So I can go ahead and select PNG and go ahead and select download. And now I'm going to go back to my Schoology course and for me to edit my picture or change my picture, I'm going to mouse over my picture and select edit picture. So the first one I'm going to show you here, I'm going to attach file, the smaller image. So I'm going to click on the file. Once I find it in my folder, I'm just going to select it, select open. And I just close this and I see that my picture is nicely uploaded there. If I click on courses, I see that my class name is displayed there in my tile. So students know that they need to click on this one to access Miss Gama's class. Now the other type of profile picture that is the taller one, let me go ahead and show you what that one looks like. I'm going to select this topic that I downloaded. It's going to cover more in your Schoology um, course here. It's going to make it a longer type of picture. However, when I click on the courses, it's going to not show the entire name of my course. So from here, you can choose which one you prefer if you want the smaller image so that students can see the um, most of the image or you prefer a much more tolerant picture here for your students to see more content or any other designs that you like to add here. Now if you've worked in Schoology in the past and you like to bring over some materials that you've used in prior years over to your current school year, you can go ahead and copy those materials over to your Schoology course. So how do we find those courses um, that we use previously. So we're going to go into courses and we're going to go to my courses. From here, we're going to have to go into this archive tab. So we're going to click here and this is where you're going to find any prior school year courses. So all we need to do is just go ahead and find the one that we like to use. So I'm going to just click on this exam, this, this one here. And I can go ahead and let's say I want to use this material. I can go ahead and click on the gear icon. I can select copy to course and I can select the homeroom or the course that I like to have it in. If I need to put it in a specific folder, I can select it here as well. And I can finally just click copy. That's it. I can go through the rest of my materials and select the ones that I like to bring over. So I don't have to redo all this amazing work I did in other school years. So now if I go to my course, I can see that the content came over nicely and um, that pretty much is it. Now lastly, I have a few tips for you to organize your course materials. Really there is no right or wrong as far as how we organize things, but it's important to keep things consistent so that students are able to find everything easily. So we highly recommend to use folders to organize our content. So if you like to have a folder for each week or each unit or each subject, uh, you can certainly create those folders really easily. Um, we can also, another tip, use images and color to assist participants with identifying folders. Uh, it's all very helpful for younger learners so that they don't just see a list of folders and text for them to um, search for things. So let me show you a quick way to add images and make your course content a little bit more user friendly for your students. So I'm going to go to that main homeroom regular and I'm going to add a folder. So from here I can select a specific color for my folder 
and I'm going to say that this is for my language arts materials so I can do by subjects. Um, I'm not going to add text as a description, but I will go ahead and search for an image. I'm going to copy this image. I'm going to go back to my Schoology course and I'm going to paste this image. I can use the scroll bars to go to the bottom right corner and resize the image using the handles in each corner. So it's not super huge in my folder. So now I can go ahead and click create and now I have an image as part of my folder and the cool thing is that your images become also links to access the folders. So here I have an example of what your course folder structure could look like uh, when using images in this in these examples I use images as well as text so you can use even your bitmojis to have like a more a fun way of presenting your folders in your course. Now if you're still wondering a way for you to organize your course materials or your folder structure, here are a few ideas for you to get inspired. So here I have an example of another course that uses images within the folders so students can know what each folder contains instead of having to read. They can also click on the images to um, access those folders. You can also use the Chronos plan. So if you like to create your folders by week or by quarter, you can go ahead and create those folders and then within each folder you can have a subset of folders with other materials for that specific date range. So here we are creating folders by units so students can access the folders um, for the specific unit that they're focusing on and find all the content there. This other model is showing you the structure by subject level. So this is probably the most used here with the elementary teachers. So you can go ahead and create your different subject level folders. And then within this folder, you can use the Chronos plan or you can do the multi-subject type of plan as well. Here I have an example of how the naming convention must be consistent so it's easy for students to find things in your course. We have here that each one of the assignments in this folder has a very consistent naming convention. Okay, so I hope you got a few ideas to get started in Schoology in this new school year. Thank you.